friends, Suzanne here. Welcome to another Fabricate Friday video on my YouTube channel and blog. For today's project, I am sharing how to build this cute little non-fold flat box. I have a cute little ribbon wrapped around the top and the designer series paper is completely wrapped around. So if you have some extra strips of designer series paper that you can't make into a card, this is a great idea. Um, and these little, oh my God, they're so cute. I don't know if you can see them. They're little uh, flowers. They are in the annual catalog that is soon to be retiring. I think these are sticking around though. So. Uh, you know, it's a, a lovely little decoration. Okay, so I'm, with no further ado, I'm gonna share how I built this. All right, for your cardstock, you need a piece of, uh, well, this is pale papaya, and I am going with the designer series uh, paper called You're, a Pe You're Such a Peach, You're a Peach, I can't remember. <laughs> The items that I use in the video, uh, you're more than welcome to go take a peek at the list below. It will be accurate. Sometimes my brain doesn't work. So uh, six and three quarters by nine and your wrap is two and five eighths by nine and a half. So I'm just gonna put that strip off to the side. Here we are on the long side, so the nine inch side, we're going to score at a half, three and a quarter, whoops, four and three quarters, and seven and a half. Then I'm going to turn it around to the short side and we're gonna score at a half, two, four and three quarters, and six and a quarter. Okay, so I'm gonna fold and burnish all of my score lines. We're gonna remove this square and rectangle. Um, I'm going to make that my top. So I'm going to angle this and then I'm going to go all the way down on this. All the way down on this. I'm going to flip that and cut it in half. If you're wondering what that is on my scissors, I made a scissor charm for myself. Has um, two of my favorite colors, uh, dark blue and light blue, has my name, and then a little charm, and then it just fits on a little scissor charm so that it doesn't get mixed up with other people's scissors. Okay. Okay, so that's the top of my box. So the bottom of my box is, I'm just gonna go up on all the score lines. I cut that off. Okay, so I want this to be the flap. You know what, guys? It is a fold flat box. <laughs> what am I talking about? I was like, why is there, if I didn't want that to be a flat, full flat box, why didn't I make a lip here? I did make a lip here. It is a fold flat box. I'm just insane. You know, I apologize. This is a fold flat box. Okay, 
<laughs> now that we've got that out of the way. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, hopefully you can, you're seeing what I'm doing here. I will lay this flat so that you can pause and make sure, uh, pause the video and make sure that you have everything like I do. This is what you should have. Okay, for our fold flat box, <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. That's it. That's all the adhesive we need. So I'm gonna fold that. And then I always like to check if I can feel it with my finger, I will take my little scissors and trim off anything that I can feel. All right, so now I'm going to put in my flaps and then in my lid, there we go. So my preference is to put the seam at the back. And then you guys, I mean, we can score this if you wish. And I kind of measured out the scoring and I pretty much did two and three quarters and I'm just going to do this really lightly okay two and three quarters uh, four and a quarter seven and eight and a half I'm not I didn't want to be too precise about it because If my box is big or little or what have you, I want to sort of tailor it to my very own box. See how that doesn't 100% fit? So, because every box is different. So I sort of just made sure that one corner was uh, fitting and then I sort of re-scored it just with my fingernails um, if you don't have fingernails you could do a bone folder and just sort of it's just a basic wrap right so I did want to put the seam sort of at the back here so I'm gonna do this now that I've gotten it my tape working <laughs> All right, so let's see here. I wanted that seam at the back. So, and I'm gonna make sure that this is on the right way. I think that's directionally the way it's supposed to go. Folding that piece in and then folding this piece in. So it's nice and snug. Hopefully it won't come away. Um, yeah. Did I do that wrong? I did. <laughs> so it's supposed to open like that. So what I'm going to do, oh my gosh, this is like the video of so many mistakes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to slide this off. And I'm going to put it on the way I wanted it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So it does slide off and in case you make a mistake like I did, I wanted that to be the front and I also wanted the seam to be at the back and the paper seam to be somewhat at the back. So hopefully that all made sense. <laughs> Perfect. So now I have the or white uh, frayed ribbon. And guess what guys, this particular um, ribbon is sticking around for, uh, you know, it's being carried forward, so that's lovely. A lot of us demonstrators are kind of, you know, we're, we don't know what stick, we, we have just found out what's sticking around and what's, um, what's being retired. 
So we are in a rush to get use up all our retired items. I'm tying a bow. I cannot talk and tie at the same time. Hats off to any of you who can demonstrate and talk at the same time. This is the reason why I do voiceovers for most of my videos, because I can't. Because <laughs> there's long pauses while I'm doing stuff. You can, I can talk and cut somebody's hair and not, you know, it's all good. All right. So with this one, I'm going to fold my ribbon in half here. And then I'm just going to take my ribbon scissors. You can tell that by this worn piece of red ribbon. <laughs> and snip. I'll do it again. That's how I do my fishtails on my ribbons. Because then that way, they're equal. They look lovely. Boop. So this I think was a better choice for ribbon, but I didn't have one that was white or peach or anything. So anyway, I like that. And as you can see in this example, it's wrapped around the lid. So, and I did the exact same thing with this guy. So it is, if you wanted to deconstruct this, in other words, you can take the designer series paper off, you can take the ribbon off. Okay. Uh, well, the last thing we're going to do is stamp. I think that's everybody's favorite thing anyway. So I'm using Pear Pizzazz today. And I am using a stamp that says, it's called Through It Together. And it says, uh, with much love. And it's very tiny and I quite like it. And I do believe this one is carrying over. So that is lovely. So here's the sentiment here with much love and it's all on one. So I inked up and then with this guy inked up just the with much and then um, love. I will show you how I did that. We're just gonna use a little masking um, post-it note. Here's a cute little post-it note I made. Swink. Oftentimes when I do like lake house events or um, little gift packages for my team, I can easily use the card board from the designer series paper. And then I just make, I put a little piece of designer series paper and then I put post-it notes. So you're using all the paper that you get. It's something that it bothers me a little bit because um, as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I use a lot of paper. So I do try to be kind. Okay, hang on, that's not working. There we go. That post-it tape was too big, in other words. So I'm taping off this part. Taking that away. Stamping with much there. Yeah, I will, I don't have my chamois wet, so I'm gonna have to use my stamp and scrub. In case you've never seen a Stampin' Scrub, because oftentimes they're off camera, this is what mine looks like. So it's just a, it opens like that. It's a little fuzzy. <laughs> um, you have a sun here uh, in this corner, which means that it's dry. And this little raindrops means it's wet. And then what you do, I have just a little, this is um, the, I've re re decanted it into this small little spray bottle that I got from the dollar store. So it just easily sits on my desk. The step and scrub bottle is quite large. So anyway, and then I spritz it. You rub it on this fuzzy stuff until it's clean. 
And I, I've seen people who like, and like soap it all up. That's not what you're supposed to do. Uh, just a little, it shouldn't be foaming here. And then, so that's wet and then this is dry. Ta-da! And I put a little thing cleaner. <laughs> Sits on my desk. Okay, so now we're gonna do the exact same thing, but we're going to, that's not gonna work. It might be easier with say scotch tape or something or painter's tape if you have it handy. I just didn't, ha I don't have it handy. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Boop, boop, boop. Fabulous. Take away that. And then I'm going to angle the love, boop, with much love. So instead of having to cut my stamp in half and you can certainly do that I've said this before there's no stamp in police that are going to come and arrest you for cutting your stamp but um, it's much easier to do some uh, something similar to this masking off so that you can use the entire sentiment um, stamp in the way it's intended photopolymer is a lot easier to, easier to cut but I wanted it to fit on this circle. And then I'm just gonna bring out a little piece of, um, here we go. This is uh, my grid mat for my Stamparatus. And I have a stitch circle from a die, which I can't remember. It has a whole bunch of little circles in it. I will link, I'll put it in the description bar below or in the pro, um, supply section of my blog in case you are very interested. And I'm gonna go with, yeah, uh, Granny Apple Green uh, Blends. So I die cut this a while ago, just in white and I didn't want to re-die cut, I wanted to use this die cut. So here's a little trick. Um, you just take your blends marker and you color it. So I don't know about you guys, but sometimes you're looking for the perfect color and you know, maybe you're out at the ball field watching your kid play ball or something and all you have is you've done a whole bunch of die, white die cuts this is a little trick. So I didn't have to do all of it. I'm not wasting all of my ink. I've got an absorbent um, pad underneath to protect my work surface. I was like, I have no idea where my dimensionals are. I am disorganized today. Um, <laughs> it's been a busy week. Okay, I'm putting dimensional adhesive on my green and I guess I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do this right there. Boop. Actually in the middle. See, I'm also indecisive. This is not a good combination. Okay. <laughs> uh, and a little adhesive. Oh, I love it. So not only can I see the stitches, but the green as well. Come on, I wasn't ready. There we go. All right, so I think maybe I will take a look and see if I have any matching of those little flurs. And okay, so they are called Loose Flower Flourishes. And I, if I'm not mistaken, I don't, don't quote me because I've only looked at the new catalog only maybe two or three times. So I know there's lots of good stuff coming. 
One of the biggest perks as a demonstrator, we get to uh, look at the new catalog. We get to pre-order all the things so we can demonstrate them to you. But the new catalog isn't coming out until May the 3rd and it's only March the 27th. And I'm still, you know, trying to work with the products that I have. So, but, and I do like to let you know what's sticking around. Well, doesn't that look lovely? All right, so I'm gonna take another one. There. And then a baby one. So what I'll do is that glue dot, I'm just gonna ball up. I put hand cream on too so that my hands wouldn't look so tired and decrepit. So oils um, will remove stickiness. <laughs> Those are great. I, I quite love these and they're so cute. They look good on anything. I wanted to take it a little further. Um, okay, so this is taking it, you know, to one more step. I just dotted it with my glue, green glue we call it. I'm going to take my a pearl that is already self-adhesive, but because there's a dip in these flowers, it doesn't adhere really well. So I'm just taking the smallest one placing it and then you got to let it dry. So try not to mess with it too much. Give it a little press and that's it. And then the, the glue will dry and it will secure that pearl so that it doesn't flip off. Because that is the worst when you have a, a something that flips off your card or pro project. Oh my gosh, I love it. So cute, especially with those little flurs. So again, you can see all the supplies I use today listed below in the videos see more section or in the supply section of my blog. And those fast links will take you to my Canadian online store where I would love the chance to meet you and earn your business. So thank you so much for watching and bye for now.